Hey guys, it's the Cardist and welcome back. In today's deck review, I'm going to be reviewing the Borderline playing cards. Now, this deck was actually brought out on Kickstarter. Um, it is basically, an, um, it's a really, really nice deck of cards, I've got to say. Um, but it's really one I got from Art of Play, so check them out, link in the description below to grab this off their site. Now, this was actually by Kickstarter, they put it up on Kickstarter, the company called Trika Design. Uh, it's printed by USPCC, it has copper foil, it has embossing, and it also has like unique culture and colourful characters to make the royalty. It was all hand illustrated. Now, they needed $13,000, but they got over $15,000. And actually, the art of play quoted, in love with these cards. So they obviously brought quite a lot and sold them on their site. So definitely worth getting, because I'm really in love in these cards as well, if you think about it. But I'll tell you why in a minute. But first off, as you can see, it has on the front in gold foil, like a copper foil, and, and as you can see as well, it is actually uh, embossed. It has a borderline. You can see there it has Trina design, and it has presents borderline. You can see it has a nice little flower roses just there, and you can see it has a car that looks like it's on a motorway in the desert with the palm trees, and it's in no hurry to stop. You can see on the bottom it has slick deals, quick draws and you can see obviously it's like a texas -y kind of thing you know like a gun down kind of theme deck but all around a very very nice looking tuck case on the front on the side it has a company name again it has established an mmv and i believe that's 2005 i can't guarantee that i don't know if it's mm5 i believe so you can see it has like a skull there and a skull there and two guns there as well so it did lead me to the fact that it's kind of a gun style deck like a cowboy kind of theme See there as well, it has the exact same, and it has borderline playing cards with a skull there. On the bottom, it has the company distributed by, and it has the designer name, and then it has where they're actually located, and it has made in the USA. It doesn't say it's printed by USPCC on the top case, but you can see it is actually printed by USPCC, they told us. It says US, and then it just has a, uh, it's ripped out there. Now the back design you can see is like uh, the American Eagle has like an, uh, an eagle and it's holding two arrows in its mouth. It has a star in a circle with like a little flowers around in each corner with these skulls there as well. The nice like line design and the kind of starburst effect. It's a really really awesome with the red bright seal that actually pops and makes this deck stand out. Pop the tab and you can see it has produced of. San Diego, okay, product of San Diego. And it has little tabs as well, these little diamonds, and you can see they've coloured the inside of the top case as well, and I'm in love with that. Thank you, you guys. Then we can see what we get inside the deck. Now, first off, you receive a couple of things, so we'll get on with that. And you can see the cards actually have like a tint to them. They're not like 100% white, they're like a yellowy kind of colour, so they can be considered a one way back, as you can see. They are kind of a one way back in a way because one side is lighter than the other. But from my perspective they are mirrored but you can see one colour is quite darker on one side compared to the other. Now what you receive for this deck is you receive two advertisements, or sorry you receive one advertisement for the company itself and it gives you the website there as well. And then you get a double backer and this is the back design. You can see it has a nice white border. Um, but you can see it's quite thin and it has like this another border that's there and you can see it has the design going on. It has a club and a diamond on each side there so then there you go as well it makes it not a one way, it makes it a one way back. It has a spade and a heart so it is actually a one way back. But also it does have the uh, eagle with the arrows in its hair. You can see the colour of like the bronzy colour does pop off the black and the artwork that we discussed does look really really nice. We'll move on to the Jokers. Now you can see the Jokers continue with this really, really nice effect. You can see it's Joker, Joker, and it says um, Comedian, um, Comedian. Okay, so you've got a Comedian there, and it has a Comedian there. So you get two identical Jokers, and there's no reveal from what I can see. You can see one, there's just a man holding a glass, and there's one holding maracas, and he's got a hat on, and he's just shaking it. So you can see all around just two basically standard jokers uh, looking for a reveal and there isn't a reveal, no there's not. But you can see it has like this little different shade, it has this like kind of darky kind of colour like old colour and then the starburst effect behind them. Then you get the 100% custom pit placements as well, you can see they're all custom and it tells you what they are. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have the Ace of Spades and it looks very retro, it's a very retro deck and it has Ace and it has Ace. It's there, so you turn it over and it has AS, so it stands for Ace, and it has Ace in there. It goes straight through the lines and it has Ace of Spade pips, and then it goes around to see two, and it has Dos. 
Okay, and you go free, and it has tweets. Uh, and then you go the whole way through, and it continues. Crotcher, so four, five, and then it goes to six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Then you get to the royalty for these, and as you can see, they do have different characters each side, so you can have Jack, and then you have like a wrestler, and then next one you have a biker. Then you have a queen, and then you just have a woman relaxing, and then you have a king, and then you have a policeman, so you have a sheriff and a policeman. Then it goes on, continues with the diamond, so as you can see it has ace, and it has ace, two, dos, and it continues three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you get to the royal seat, it's identical as well, it continues with the same thing, same sheriff, same biker, so that happens as well, just maybe different colours. And then you get to the clubs, as you can see, like the same as well, continues the whole way through, the exact same really, and it continues with the uh, numbers that go straight through the whole way, and then the four custom aces, so you can see they actually do have different faces as well. Not a lot of different faces, but you can see all around it's a fully custom deck of cards. Really, really digging this, not just because of the way it looks, but just because of the artwork that's gone into it, I think it's really awesome, and the amount of work. It's quite a unique deck, if you think about it in the way of the way they've done it. My example of this would be, as you can see, just because how they've done it, well, it goes through the uh, name there. It's very unique. You don't tend to see that on the deck. So when that's shown on this one, it really makes this deck stand out, in my opinion, because it's unique, and not a lot of companies do that. But let's see what this deck is like for handling. Okay, so let's see what this deck is like for handling. So as you can see, the dribbling on this deck, now I'm not sure what the stock is, but it feels quite like slippery in a way, but it does actually really dribble quite well, I've got to say, and also springing on the deck, it springs really nicely, there's no issues with the springing, and even just doing a simple fan, it looks really, really nice in the fan, you can see where the colouring of the deck actually is, but you can see if I do a fan, it has the same kind of a colour where you can see it's a one-way back. You're just doing a riffle shuffle as well is easy and just doing cuts in the hand. Doing a Charlier cut and even possibly a card production. There you go. And you can even do a double lift with this deck as well and even a colour change. Now, I may reveal that one there, but flourishing wise, I think this deck is a nice one for flourishing. I'm not going to do the civil because I'm still struggling to do it because I'm so busy at college. But you can see spreading as well, this deck is really, really nice. We can also do a uh, reverse because the pips are quite small and close. You get this really quite nice fan, they're quite close together. And then we can do a pharaoh as well. Okay, we can do a pharaoh and we can then do a giant fan. And you can see it does an okay giant fan uh, because it's quite slippery, but all around it's a very, very nice deck of cards, and I'll definitely say it's worth getting. Okay, so this is my review of the Borderline playing cards. Um, definitely worth getting. I really, really like this deck. Pick it up from R to Play, link in the description below. Uh, I like this deck because it stands out for me, and I like the colouring, it's very pops on the front of the tuck case. It stands out in my collection, and I really like showing this to some of my friends when they come round. But thank you so much for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like just down there. Click subscribe just up there and show Prusia just up there. That's it. I'll see you guys next one.